Hello everyone. Let's have a look at a last question here which says that there is a cistern or an underground tank whose dimensions are 150 cross 120 cross 100 centimeters. So let's say that here is the cistern or the underground tank and it is cuboidal in shape. And there is some water filled in this tank. We are given that we are putting some porous bricks into this water tank. And we know very well when we put the bricks in, the bricks will rise the level of the water. Now, since the bricks are porous, so some water will fill up inside these bricks and that water will not constitute the increase in volume of the water. So, effectively, the level rise of water will be volume of the brick minus volume of water which has gone into the pores of the bricks. Now, we have to calculate that how much bricks we can put in inside this cistern if the dimension of the bricks is 20 cross 10 cross 10. Now, we can find out the effective volume raised by the bricks. This will be the volume of the brick minus the volume of water which is going inside the brick. So, we can write down that the effective volume of the brick will be, let's say that volume of brick is V. So, this will be volume of brick and we have to subtract the amount of water which is going inside this brick and this is given to be 1 by 17th of this volume. So, this will be 1 by 17 minus 1 by 17 of V. So, effective volume will come out to be, if we take the LCM and solve this, this will come out to be 16 by 17 V. Now, we are given that we have to fill this water up to the brim of the cistern. So, how many bricks are required for that? Let's say that X bricks fill up the water to the brim. So, the net volume of the cistern will be equal to the effective volume of these X bricks plus the water which was inside previously. So, we can say that the volume of cistern will be equal to effective volume of X bricks and in this we have to add the volume of water which was originally present in the cistern. So, this will be volume of the water and now we can easily solve this. This we know already volume of cistern can be easily find out by multiplying these values. So, this will be 150 into 120 into 100. This will be equal to effective volume of X bricks. This is 16 by 17 into volume of brick is given to be 20 cross 10 cross 10. And we know that there are X bricks which are filling this system. So, we have to multiply this whole term by X and plus the volume of water which was originally present in the system. So, this was this. Now, if we multiply these terms, 15 into 12 will be 180 and 1234. Four zeros are already here. So, this will be 1234 minus we have to, we can take this term on the left hand side. So, this will be coming in subtraction. So, this will be 20 and 4 zeros equals to this term. So, we can write down this as 16 by 17 into 2000 into x. Just solve this, this will come out to be if we subtract this, this will be 16, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 
and this will be equals to 16 by 17 into 2000 into x. Now if we solve this further, this 3 zeros will be cancelled, the 16 will also get cancelled. So the value of this, let's cross multiply, x will come out to be 17 will go in numerator and 2 will come in denominator. So this will be 1700 by 2 and if we cancel this, this comes out to be 850. So we can say that we require 850 of such kind of porous bricks to fill this cistern to the brim with water.